Okay, the Dallas Cowboys went to Bank of America Stadium to take on the Carolina Panthers, where both teams needed a win in the worst way, but the Carolina Panthers lost 19-14, the final score at home. Now on a four-game losing streak, it's the third game in a row where they lost a close, tight game. So, congratulations to the Dallas Cowboys and their fans. Uh, they won the game for the simple fact that Tony Romo didn't make any mistakes. The offensive line protected him. The defense just brought massive heat. Uh, the special teams did their job. What more you What more you want me to say? As for the Carolina Panthers, wow. I'm going to start off with the offense. I mean, Cam Newton, you cannot throw the ball up for grabs. You either take a sack, throw the ball away, Scramble, do whatever it takes, especially in a red zone. The last thing you need to be doing is to, to hold the ball for for days and just get rid of it the last second. And unfortunately, he threw an interception to Morris Claiborne. So <clears throat> Cam Newton's got to eliminate that. He has to eliminate the boneheaded plays. Uh, the offensive line was bad. They gave up two sacks. They couldn't open holes for nothing. I know that Ryan Khalil's out for the year with a foot injury, the same foot injury that Santonio Holmes of the New York Jets suffered a couple weeks back. But there's no excuse. And the defense, even though they play great, but it but it wasn't excellent for the simple fact that James Anderson should have picked off Tony Romo pass. That would have been a game changer and put the offense in a good field position. And the the front four for the defense for Carolina Panthers, they were just playing Patty Kate, Patty Kate, Baker, man with the Dallas Cowboys offensive line all afternoon long to the point Tony Romo didn't even get touched at all. The only time he got touched is scrambling for yardage. That's it. That's it. So, the Panthers committed more penalties. 2 for 10 on third down conversions. 0 for 2 for fourth down conversions. Um, Turned the ball over twice. You know. Any time that Cam Newton throws the ball more than 25 times, if he threw 37, Carolina's not winning football games. It's just that simple. <coughs> and what is up with the running game? It is garbage now. I mean, listen to the stats. Listen to the stats. It's Jonathan Stewart, 10 carries, 35 yards. Mike Tolbert, 3 carries, 9 yards. D'Angelo Williams, 2 carries, Four yards. What? Cam Newton had six carries for 64 yards, and that was in the first half. Second half, he was MIA. It goes right back to the play calling. Rob Szczynski, what are you doing? And I'm not going to play the card of get rid of the re-option BS. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Because it's just basically beating a dead horse at this point, Juncture. So, uh, Panthers lost this game. They, they they lost the game. And people are saying that that the um, the pass interference, yeah, it was it was BS. The referee should have called it, but it is what it is. And the horse collar tackle from the um, James Harrison, James Anderson, excuse me, got that mixed up with James Harrison from the Pittsburgh Steelers. What's wrong with me tonight? That was BS. He didn't go inside the shoulder pads. But it is what it is. And um, it's funny how the NFL players and the fans are complaining about the the replacement officials, which, they, don't get it twisted, they were terrible. But their regular referees missed some calls too, critical ones as well. 
but the Panthers wouldn't want the game anyway. But even though I had them winning the game, but whatever. Now they got to travel to Chicago to take on the Bears in the series record. The Bears lead four to three. Last meeting, Bears won 34-29 last year uh, on October second. In order for the Bears to win uh, next Sunday's game. Protect Jay Cutler. Let Matt Forte do his thing. The wide receivers and tight ends just pick apart the secondary. And the Bears defense bring heat. And, and contain Cam Newton. Make him a pocket passer. If you do that, you get your victory right there. As for the Carolina Panthers... In order to get your second win of the season, let alone the first road victory of the year as well. The offensive line got to find a way to open holes for the running game. Cam Newton has to make better decisions. Don't make boneheaded ones. And the defense, find a way to get after J Jay Cutler, stop the running game. Oh yeah, speaking of Stopping the run and getting after Jay Cutler. Tackle somebody. Prove the critics wrong. If you do that, everything's all good. If not, it's going to be a long day. The special teams, do your job. I don't see the Panthers winning at Soldier Field. I just don't see that happening. So with that, you know what to do. I'll talk to you guys later.